nice round of applause. It's great to be here today in person to do this event. You can do a little bit better than that. It's been a long year. Give yourselves a round of applause. It has been a long year for all of us, and we've made it through, and congratulations to all of our athletic teams. Great years across the board. Uh, we have a lot of things to get to, a lot of honors to cross today and, and recognize a number of people. Before we do that, we're going to begin, as we begin everything here at Niagara University, with a blessing. It's my pleasure to introduce Father Joe Hubbard for our invocation this afternoon. Father Joe. Don't worry, it's just one page. And let us pray. We gather in your presence, our good and loving God, to celebrate the gift of Niagara University student athletes. We do so with grateful hearts to recognize the gifts they, as individuals and as members of their teams, have shared with commitment, perseverance, friendship, and mutual support in seasons none of them or any of us could have envisioned. We thank you as well for the dedication of the coaches, support staffs, and athletic program administrators who have journeyed with them in these challenging seasons, guiding these young women and men in their endeavors, seeking to keep them safe, while always sharing the values we cherish on Mount Eagle Ridge. Truly, the past year and more tested all involved in Niagara's athletic program. Nevertheless, each person in the face of protocols and pauses has reflected your sacred word. For indeed, to paraphrase St. Paul, they have indeed fought the good fight. They have finished the course. They have kept the faith in each of their sports. Acknowledging stirring moments and achievements we celebrate a journey of growing in the knowledge of your love, Lord, and the importance of experiencing joy, both in the highs and the lows of the journey. In the applause and laughter of this gathering, may our hearts, our hearts and minds recall all that has been accomplished as a blessing from you, and that our applause and laughter is just a small piece of the joy that is yours as you look upon us today. In these commencement days, we pray in a special way for our seniors and super seniors, continuing to be their guide in any future athletic endeavors, and especially in bringing the power of Niagara to bear and bringing your justice and peace to our world. As always, we raise our prayers to you, the giver of all good things, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And oh, Lord. We know you have so many matters to deal with, and you really do love everybody. But well, we just want to say thank you for any help that you offered as an Agri one that can out cup this year. God bless. Woo! Thanks, Father. You left this up here, too, so I'm going to look and see if there's any cash in here. I'll go through that later. So it's been quite a year, as I mentioned. Uh, beautiful words, Father. Thank you for that, setting the tone for today. Uh, it's always great to have you in and around our athletic competitions, and great to see you here. Um, it was a great year, uh, and great years and great athletic departments come with great leaders. So let's meet our director of athletics, uh, the Purple Eagles, our big bird, if you will, Simon Gray. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. First time I've been introduced as a Sesame Street character, but that, that's good. Thank you. You know, we were, as we were talking about putting this together today, we were clearly inspired by the Oscars. We've got social distancing, we have masks, and we have a celebrity host. Hashtag Tom Burns is with us today. So Tom, thanks. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for giving us your time. I also want to recognize Father Marr, our university president, who's joined us today. Father, thank you for being here. We'll hear from him later. Uh, but we also have members of our university community, our faculty that are here, uh, and they've been supportive of us all the way through this year and, and really, really appreciate everything that's been done to put on this athletics year. 
a very successful athletics year. Um, last year, we didn't have a show. We didn't have this event. And this year, albeit different, not with the same energy that Rapids Theater brings, not with all of us together in one place, I do want to especially thank those who have worked so hard to put today together. Steve Butler, Derek Thornton, Brianna Jacobs, Kyle Barker, Marianne Demisio, Josh Dumbleton, our Student Athlete Advisory Committee, Sean Gillen. Thank you so much. How about a round of applause for everyone who's worked incredibly hard for today? And then, you know, as if uh, COVID isn't acknowledged all the time, it is because this was a really hard year to put together, and it, it took a lot from so many people. Uh, but just want to say thank you to Deidre Palmer, our senior women administrator, all of our coaches who are here, our support staff, in a special way our sports medicine staff, John Monroe, Scott Master Batista, Diana Bronchile, and Dave Vasquez, who's here with us today. Uh, the amount of hours that they put in, uh, they brought in new skills, right, Dave? We learned some new things. Uh, we all did, but, but particularly our sports medicine folks. And then our campus health services, Adrian Kaspalm, all of her nurses. Um, how many tests did we take, right? But there was always someone there who was reading it. I'm not sure which was harder, getting the test taken or having it read. But uh, really appreciate all those people on campus who, who made this possible. But most of all, I know this is being watched online. Hopefully a lot of people are logged in. And, and thank you for those of you that are in the gym with us. But I want to thank our student athletes because you all persevered through something that no student athlete has done prior. Uh, and I know it wasn't easy. And as if student, being a student athlete isn't stressful enough, you added a lot of things on top of it this year. So I hope you're proud of yourselves. I hope you're proud of your teammates and your programs for all that you accomplished. Not only in competition, but also in the classroom. The academic achievements from our department across the department are record setting, uh, numbers we've never seen before in the history of Niagara Athletics. So congratulations to you. And particularly those of you that are graduating this week. What a tremendous accomplishment um, that is. The number one priority of yours should have been always graduation. And congratulations to those who, who are doing that. Um, I do want to especially recognize Emma Bagnato. Emma, if you could stand, please. So although our top priority is graduation, being a conference champion is also something that we all strive to do. So let's give a round of applause to Emma Bagnato. Thanks, Emma. Our first ever track and field individual uh, event champion in the 400 meter dash. So Emma, well done. And I think we saw that in the video. You sort of took over right there at the end. Uh, very well done. Congratulations. So it's also my responsibility at this event each year to give the Believe in You Award out. And typically we end the, the ceremony with that, but this year we're doing it at the beginning. Um, because as I was thinking about who would get the Believe in You Award, which is given to that person who most exemplifies a Purple Eagle um, through in, day in and day out, um, I think the choice was easy this year. And so we're giving the Believe in You Award to every single student athlete who persevered through unprecedented challenges this year. But we're actually going to hand off the award to our SAC president, Anna Donnelly. Anna. Thanks, everyone, for a great year. Enjoy your summers. Thank you, Simon, and thanks for your leadership, of course, again, during a trying year. But we're going to stop talking about what a trying year it was, and we're going to talk about what a great year it was. Uh, it was a great year. Uh, great accomplishments on the court, on the ice, on the field, on the track, on the whatever you play on. Uh, it was a great year for the Purple Eagles and great year to be a fan of the Purple Eagles. And we're going to take a look back and see how we had that great year. Through the course of the afternoon, you're going to see highlight videos from each team, and we're going to start it off now, take a look at the screens. We'll start with lacrosse. Niagara snapped a 17-game losing streak to rival Canisius in style with a 16-9 victory on April 13th. The 16 goals tied a season high. The Purple Eagles followed with a 10-7 win on April 16th and then an 11-4 victory on April 18th over the Golden Griffins for their first win streak in the series since reeling off 10 straight from 1998 to 2004. 
Needing to pick up a point to clinch a spot in the conference tournament, the Purple Eagles rip the back of the net with six goals, including four in the second half, to pull away from Kanishas for a 6-3 win for the highest scoring game in the series history. Kelsey Arajo and Jainaba Cham each scored twice as part of a season-high six goals and seven assists by the Purple Eagles. It will feature the recap videos, as I said, throughout the show, but it's time to hand out our next award, which is the St. Vincent Award, which is given to individuals who best exemplify the Vincentian mission of Niagara University. This year, we relied on our Vincentian spirit to help pull us through the whole year. Throughout 2021, there were two areas of the Department of Athletics that continued to provide for our student athletes. The spring 21 semester had all of our sports competing, and during this time, athletic communications did not miss a beat with broadcasts of our games at high quality for each contest. The staff worked tirelessly to meet the constant schedule changes so people could watch online and keep up with the Purple Eagles. So congratulations to the Athletic Communications Department. And the other recipient is the sports medicine staff. Our medical team allowed us to stay safe and compete throughout the pandemic. Uh, not a small feat at all. So I don't know if there's anybody here from the sports medicine staff, but uh, if you have, come on up and get your award, and sports communications as well. Steve, Steve Butler will present those awards. Congratulations to both of those departments. Our next, for our next award, I'm going to ask Stephanie Tui to come forward to present the Scholar Athlete Awards. We often hear the term student athlete at Niagara University. Student is as, poor, as important, if not more important, than the athlete portion, and that comes through in the outcomes that we see. So it's my pleasure to introduce Stephanie Tui. so proud of all of our student athletes. The amount of time that you guys dedicate to academics is just as important as the amount of time that you're dedicating to athletics. And it's so much more than a lot of our other students that are on campus. This year has been challenging now that you're asked to learn online for most of your classes. Um, it's just been a really difficult adjustment, and all of the athletes have really gone above and beyond. Um, but we had two student athletes who have rose to the challenge and exemplified with their academics. The 2021 Female Scholar Athlete of the Year is Alexandra Leo, women's lacrosse. <laughs> and she has a to say this while it's a little quiet. She has a perfect GPA of a 4.0. Our 2021 uh, Male Scholar Athlete of the Year is Brian Wilson. I know Brian's here. Brian's from men hockey and he has a GPA of a 3.92. Was there someone who was going to receive the award for him? Coach Lammers. <laughs> Coach, have you ever played goalie? Have you ever played goalie? 
All right, okay, just checking. Make sure you're eligible to receive that for today. So congratulations to Alex and Brian. How about a nice round of applause for them again? Those awards actually, as we said, mean student first, which is great. The Purple Eagles had 34 student athletes who earned a 4-0 in the fall, and more than 300 student athletes finished the semester with a 3-0 or higher. Absolutely incredible. And the cumulative GPA after the fall semester was 3-4-2. So give yourselves a nice round of applause for that. Of course, the second word in the phrase, student athlete, is athlete and we follow that. That's what we come to watch you compete in in athletics. So let's do that again. Let's turn our attention to the video boards as we take a look at the men's hockey team. The Purple Eagles came from behind in the Atlantic Hockey quarterfinals versus Robert Morris to advance to the semifinals. Down one nothing in the series, the Purple Eagles rallied to win game two in The Purple Eagles came from behind in the Atlantic Hockey quarterfinals versus Robert Morris to advance to the semifinals. Down 1 0 in the series, the Purple Eagles rallied to win game two in double overtime with a sharp angle goal by Jack Billings. The Purple Eagles backed it up with a 2 1 victory in the decisive game three. Chad Veltry was outstanding in net for the Purple Eagles, making 125 saves for the series and he held Robert Morris scoreless over a span of 100 minutes in games two and three. It's my pleasure now to invite to the stage Ashley Scapolato to present the teams with the highest GPA. Ashley. This fall, our teams recorded their best academic semester. For the first time in department history, all 18 athletic programs earned a GPA of 3.0 or higher. These results are not possible without each member of the team performing at their best. With a 3.64 GPA, the female team with the highest GPA is women's tennis. <laughs> Not only did women's tennis get it done in the classroom, they did on the court as well. Let's see their memorable moment. Team. The Purple Eagles defeated the Monmouth Hawks 5-2 on April 4th. The win clinched a spot in the 2021 MAC Tennis Championship. After dropping the doubles point, the Purple Eagles won five of the six singles matches with Elena Mayette, Jada Borg, Megan Gamble, Erica Gonzalez, and Olga Donchu earning victories. <laughs> Niagara pulled out a dramatic 4-3 victory over Queens College on the Niagara tennis courts on April 10th. The Purple Eagles won the doubles points with wins in numbers one and two doubles. Niagara then clinched the match in number one singles when Manuel Alonso rallied to win his match 4-6, 7-5-6-3. Congratulations, ladies, for an outstanding performance this year. Like their female counterparts, the, this male team led the men's program with a 3.7 team GPA. The winner is men's cross country. Freshmen Ben Wisto and Braden York made their collegiate debut at the 2021 Mac Men's Cross Country Championship at Seaview Golf Club on March 5th. Due to COVID protocols, the pair were the only runners for the Purple Eagles. Wisto finished with a time of 30 minutes, 37 seconds, and York finished with a time of 30 minutes, 45 seconds. <laughs> C 
senior Emma Bagnato made history at the 2021 Mac Outdoor Track and Field Championships on May 9th. The Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania native captured first place in the 400 meters to become the first Purple Eagle to win a gold medal in an event. Bagnato ran the race in 56.85 seconds to set a personal and school record. Congratulations to our running programs there. Great job. Round of applause for them. I know I keep asking for a round of applause. I want to make sure you're still awake. It's hot in here. Keep the circulation going. At this time, I'd like to invite back up the hockey coach, Jason Lammers, to the stage to present our Purple Eagle Award. Well, we learned a lot this year about how much the administration does for all of us to produce these sporting events, but just as importantly as the student athletes and the students that, that help behind the scenes. The success of hosting these events is due to their dedication and all that they do in their presentation, their broadcasting, their operations, and many more areas. It's my honor to give the Purple Eagle Award which is presented to the non-student athlete who has demonstrated through their work behind the scenes a tremendous dedication and pride in Niagara Athletics. Here are the nominees. Purple Eagle Award. The nominees are Emily O'Brien, Haley Hell. Wyatt Ketch. Lauren Templin. Will Barrard. Skyler Fitzgerald Nuffer. Okay, and the winner is Haley Held. Congratulations, Haley. Great job this year working for the Purple Eagles. I've worked in professional sports. Uh, it is tireless, it is thankless, it is a lot of hours. Um, but beyond that, it's fun. And it's great to be able to have that and, and working uh, with athletes and athletes have always told me how important those people are behind the scenes to help them continue their season, continue their successes. So Haley and all the nominees, congratulations on a great season for you as well. Now let's welcome Dave Vasquez to the stage to present our Comeback Athlete of the Year Award. Dave. In my time working with Purple Eagle student athletes, specifically with those who had made a comeback after facing a significant injury, their earned success after the injury is always the most rewarding part of my job. Student athletes who come back in a big way following an injury demonstrate the greatest resiliency. Here are the nominees for Comeback Athlete of the Year. Comeback Athlete of the Year. The nominees are Rachel Crane Lacrosse, Olivia Mason, Women's Basketball. Maddie Yell, women's basketball. And the winner is Olivia Mason. I would first like to thank my coaches and teammates for all the help and support throughout my recovery process. 
I'd also like to really thank the training staff for getting me where I am today. Um, all the trips to the doctor's office, all the rehab, all the treatment. I just can't thank you guys enough. Thank you. Congratulations. Olivia, that's great. Uh, comeback player of the year. It's wonderful to have, uh, have her honor in that way for her work to get back uh, to the sport and participate. And thanks, Coach, for coming up with present, uh, to accept the award for her. Um, Haley, I, you can speak if you want to speak to accept your award. We didn't, you sure? Okay. Anybody want to speak for her? No? I'm just trying to get the place lo loosened up, that's all. Uh, like Olivia, uh, who we just heard from, her teammates needed to be resilient working through the many interruptions the season presented um, and the quarantines and opponents' pauses. Not only were you trying to manage your own team, but you had to also watch the rest of the league and see what they were doing. Um, they showed great resilience, had some great moments. Ask you to turn your attention to the video board as we look at women's basketball. Buoyed by 23 points from Angel Parker and 12 points each from Ali Har and Sydney Falcon, the Niagara women's basketball team earned its first all-time win versus the Quinnipiac Bobcats on February 27th. The Purple Eagles defeated the Bobcats 78 to 69 inside the Gallagher Center. Congratulations to women's basketball on a great season. That's a great win right there. First one against Quinnipiac. Here to present our next award. It's my pleasure to introduce the president of the Student Athlete Advisory Council, Anna Donnelly. Anna. The next award is the Purple Heart Award. The Purple Heart Awards are presented to a female and male student athlete who embraces the Vincentian spirit that Niagara was founded upon and most exemplifies what it is to be a Purple Eagle through one's contribution on and off the field. This award is voted on by the student representatives in SAC. The male recipient of this award is one of the founding leaders to the newly created Student Athletes of Color Alliance, or SACA. He is also seen DJing around campus, and he is a member of the men's soccer team. This year's Male Purple Heart Award goes to Josh Tofino. Like DJ Tuffy, the female recipient of the award is seen at almost all of the Niagara Athletics home events, back when spectators were allowed at games. She's a leader in the softball program. This year's female recipient of the Purple Heart Award is Kelsey Harrigan. Congratulations to both of you. You don't want to come up and speak, accept your award? Come on, you're a DJ. You don't want to get up and, no? Kelsey, I'm from South Buffalo, which is a very Irish part of town. Um, and with a name like Kelsey Harrigan, I know that we have similar ancestors. I've never met an Irish person that didn't want to come up and talk. Nothing? You don't want to accept? No? Not, we tried. All right, we'll get on with the show a little bit. Let's turn your attention to the video screens for our look back at softball. In game two of a doubleheader versus Manhattan on April 17th, the Purple Eagles trailed by just one run, seven to six, in the bottom of the seventh inning. With two runners on base for NU, Maggie Vesneski homered over the center field fence earning the Purple Eagles a 9-7 walk-off win. This one's driven deep center field, headed back at the wall. It's out of here! 
Kinblom almost had it at the fence. It escapes her glove, and it's a walk-off home run for the Purple Eagles as Vesneski smashes it over the center field fence. Nothing like a walk-off to win a game. That's great. Time to call up our next presenter. It's my pleasure to introduce Steve Butler, Deputy AD uh, in the Department of Athletics for our next presentation. Steve? I'm here to present our Coach of the Year Award. And as uh, the legendary John Wooden had said, a good coach can change the game and a great coach can change a life. Here are the nominees for Coach of the Year. Coach of the Year. The nominees are Bill Boyle, men's soccer. Donna Day, volleyball. Wendy Stone, lacrosse. Rob McCoy, baseball. Josh Kafis, men's golf. Eric Bugby, swimming and diving. And this year's Coach of the Year is Bill Boyle. Coach isn't able to join us, so I believe he sent us a message earlier. The Purple Eagles went 2-0 versus the Canisius College Golden Griffins this season, helping Niagara to secure the Canal Cup. In Game 1, the Purple Eagles defeated Canisius 2-1. It was their first victory over the Griffs since October 30th, 2013. Niagara shut out Canisius in game two, earning a 4 0 win. And our next award is the Taps Gallagher Award. John J. Taps Gallagher guided the Purple Eagles basketball team for 31 seasons with 26 winning seasons in that stretch. Taps the coach embodied Taps the Person, a respectful, dignified teacher who took young players and instilled proper perspective and value in each player. The recipients of these awards come from all 18 of our sports programs and demonstrate the same values that Taps did. Let's take a look at the Taps, video, Taps Gallagher Award video. As your name is called, please come forward. Taps Gallagher Sportsmanship Award. Alex McKinnon, baseball. Steve Levniak, men's basketball. Maddie Yell, women's basketball. Spencer Swoboda, men's cross country. L. Russell, women's cross country. Tyler Edholm, men's golf. Eve Quinn, women's golf. John Hill, hockey. Alina Del Toro, lacrosse. Josh Tofino, men's soccer. Alexis Horwettel, women's soccer. Heather Haberman, softball. Gio Germano, men's swimming and diving. Sydney Sarkis, women's swimming and diving. Eduardo Viapando, men's tennis. Megan Gamble, women's tennis. Haley Foster, women's track and field. Jessica Stroyer, volleyball.
And once you have your awards, I'd ask you to line up here for a photo. How about a nice round of applause for our Taps Gallagher Award winners? Our next award is the Unsung Hero Award. These athletes help lead each program to new heights in a challenging in a challenging year. And despite the adversity this year, the 2021 season was most successful season in recent history. And once again, as your name is called, I ask you to please come forward and get your award. Let's turn our attention to the video screen for to this afternoon's honorees. Cole Tucker, baseball. Jordan Centron, men's basketball. Angel Parker, women's basketball. Braden York, men's cross country. Nora Klinowski, women's cross country. Ian Wagner, men's golf. Daniela Hopper, women's golf. Chad Veltri, hockey. Megan Howe, lacrosse. Jordan Acevedo, men's soccer. Veda Hensel, women's soccer. Riley Crum, softball. Taekwon Walker, men's swimming and diving. Lauren Hume, women's swimming and diving. Jorge Cedeno, men's tennis. Emma Shea, women's tennis. Emma Bagnato, women's track and field. Mary Reddell, volleyball. Have a nice round of applause for all the Unsung Hero Award winners. Congratulations on your award. For our next presentation, it is my pleasure to call forward our senior woman administrator. Please welcome Deidre Palmer. Deidre? Hello, everyone. I'm here to present the Female and Male Newcomer of the Year Award. The award is for a freshman or transfer student athlete that has excelled during the year as their first year as a Purple Eagle. This year, we expanded our award criteria to also include spring athletes from spring of 2020 since they didn't get an opportunity to compete. Uh, and the nominees for Female Newcomer of the Year are... Newcomer of the Year, Female Nominees. Rachel Crane, Lexi Branecki, Jada Borg, Elena Mayette, Amanda Darling. And the winner is Amanda Darling with Volleyball. Hi, my name is Amanda Darling and I'm on the volleyball team here. I'd first like to start off by thanking everyone who nominated me for this award. Next, I would like to thank my parents because without their love and support, I would not be the player I am today. I would also like to thank my coach for giving me the opportunity to show what I can do. Lastly, I'd like to thank my amazing teammates because without them, I would not have been able to do it. Thank you and go Purple Eagles. Excellent. Now to finish the newcomer of the year, Let's take a look at the male nominees. Newcomer of the Year, Male Nominee. 
Zach Cameron. Ryan Sabo. Kobe Nwandu. Chaz DeLuca. Asher Barnes. And the winner is Kobe Nwando with men's basketball. Um, I want to say thank you. I appreciate. I'm grateful to accept this award. Uh, thank you to my coaching staff. Um, a special thank you to my teammates for uh, pushing through this trouble time and this difficult season and just making the most of, of everything this year. Um, I want to say good luck for the next year. I'll be rooting for y'all and I'll be tuned in. Kobe Nwandu spinning layup in the paint with 25 seconds remaining was the go-ahead basket for the Purple Eagles in a 64-62 win over eventual regular season champion Siena on February 20th. Trailing 60-59, Nwandu had to maneuver past his defender to spin the ball off the backboard for the winning point. After Siena missed a three-pointer on its next possession, Raheem Solomon made three of four free throws to ice the game. Nwandu finished with 16 points to lead NU in scoring for the eighth time, and he dished out a season-high five assists for game-high honor. Before we get to our next uh, presentation, let's take a look at the screen for our men's and women's golf teams and take a look back at the moments that we had on the golf course this year. On April 15th, Lincoln Sizek became the first Niagara men's golfer since 2010 to win the Little Three Championship. Sizek fired a 71 to tie for first place and earned the individual win following a two-hole playoff. Sizek's victory earns him a berth in the 2021 Porter Cup this summer. Daniela Hopper placed first in a dual meet with Lemoyne on April 15th to close out the regular season. Hopper carded an 82 and helped the Purple Eagles to a 350 to 416 victory over the Dolphins. And now it's time for our final award. It's my pleasure to bring forward our head coach of the women's basketball team, Jada Pierce. Coach? I'm here to present the Vincent O'Malley Student Athlete of the Year Award. These athletes are the ones in the gym before and after practice putting in the extra work. The O'Malley Student Athlete of the Year Award honors those athletes who trusted the process and achieved outstanding results this season. The female nominees are Vincent O'Malley Female Student Athlete of the Year. The nominees are Shea Swartwout, Lacrosse, Angel Parker, Women's Basketball, JC Roberts, Volleyball, Jada Borg, Women's Tennis, Elena Mayette, Women's Tennis. Michelle Messenger, Lacrosse. The 2021 Female Student Athlete of the Year, Michelle Messenger, Women's Lacrosse. Hi, everyone. I'm so honored and grateful to be given this award today. Thank you to everyone who's helped me get to this point. Special shout out to my coaches and teammates for always pushing me to be the best version of myself and for believing in me. I wouldn't be the same player or person if it wasn't for all of you. Thank you all so much.
Congrats to Michelle and Women's Lacrosse on a great year. And the nomin oh, sorry. <laughs> and the nominees for Male uh, student, student Athlete of the Year Award are Vincent O'Malley, Male Student Athlete of the Year. The nominees are Peter Battaglia, Baseball. Kobe Nwandu, Men's Basketball. Josh Savoni, Men's Soccer. Lincoln Sizek, Men's Golf. Rodrigo Almeida, Men's Soccer. Marcus Hammond, Men's Basketball. The 2021 Male Student Athlete of the Year is Peter Battaglia with baseball. Uh, first off, I just want to thank my parents for obviously all the sacrifices and everything they've done for me to allow me to play the game here at Niagara. And then, of course, I want to thank my coach, um, Coach Rob McCoy, for you know obviously taking the chance on me five years ago, and um, you know all my teammates for you know putting me in a good spot to represent the program well. Thank you. The Niagara baseball team went on an impressive six-game winning streak early in its season. The streak began with a doubleheader sweep of the Siena Saints on March 27th and concluded with a four-game series sweep of the Quinnipiac Bobcats April 2nd and 3rd. That improved Niagara's record at the time to 8-4. In Niagara's final meet of the season on March 20th versus Alfred State, Moana Howd Cameron broke the program record in the 100 IM. She finished with a time of 59.26 seconds, placing first in the event. Marco Wilson won the one meter and three meter dives in meets this season against St. Bonaventure, Alfred State, Canisius, and in the end of season, Mac Invitational. Wilson's only defeat was against Binghamton. Once again, have a nice round of applause for all the teams, all the videos you've seen this afternoon, all our teams that were able to compete this year. Congratulations, it's been a great year. When I introduced our athletic director, I called him Big Bird because he is the head of the Purple Eagles and leadership on our campus certainly is great and we've seen it leaders on teams and we have a leader of the university who I'm not going to call Big Bird uh, because I don't want to do that. Uh, but our president of the university, the Reverend James J. Marr, is a great leader on our campus. He is here, he, as you know, he attends a lot of the athletic events. He is sports minded and a, and a giant fan of all of our athletic teams and it's always great to have him around. Beyond that, he is a great leader on our campus. He has taken the lead uh, both on our campus and in the community for a number of initiatives, serving uh, the Niagara Falls community and trying to lift up that community, serving diversity, equity, inclusion initiatives on our campus and across Western New York. He also serves as the chairman of the Council of Presidents for the MAC. He is a great leader, a great person, and it gives me my pleasure to inter introduce him for a few remarks. Father Marr. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. And uh, my remarks are very simple, um, and they're really m remarks of gratitude and thanks to all of you, to our coaches, our staff, um, our training staff, all of the support staff in the athletic department, our leadership within the athletic department, beginning with, with uh, Simon Gray and, and the entire team there, and to all of you, student athletes. I know this has been an incredibly trying year for all of us, and we all have our own burdens that we carry in this year, but you responded with incredible faith and grace. Uh, and uh, what I will just leave you with is uh, what I'm speaking about as a general theme. We have to now pivot 
uh, towards life as a post-pandemic society and world. And it would be a shame if we didn't take the lessons learned uh, of the pandemic and apply them in our daily lives. Uh, and they are that, um, that self-care is really important, that we take care of ourselves, our health, our mental health, our spiritual health, uh, that we also are very mindful that we need human relationships, right? Technology won't save us. Our phones, Twitter, they won't save us. Our relationships, our human relationships, the human family and the human community are really what provides us our lasting nourishment. So remember that always. Remember that in the bonds that you formed here with your teammates, your fellow student athletes, your fellow students, your coaches, the campus community. Take them forward. That's, that's what's most real in life, are the relationships that we formed and maintain them as we go forward. Remember always that we don't have to be unnecessarily busy, that it's important to take time to just be at times, to reflect, to pray, to be together as a human family. And finally, remember to reach out to those who may be hurting. Uh, it's been said that the next wave of the pandemic that we're going to experience is a wave of mental health trauma. All the backed up trauma from death, from suffering, from loss. Reach out to those who need your help. Don't wait. Reach out to people on the margins of life. Serve others who are less fortunate than yourselves. And remember always that it's a sign of strength to ask for help in life. Thank you for all that you've done for the university, for our community, how you represent us as student scholar athletes. God bless you and I wish you a wonderful summer and I look forward to the student athletes who will return next year to seeing you on campus and the student athletes who are graduating and going forth, you go forth with our prayers and our best wishes. Thank you very much. In a match versus Fairfield in the Gallagher Center on March 18th, with a limited Niagara squad facing the full strength Stags, Sarah Wybe came up with a monster root block for the Purple Eagles. In the first set, Wybe blocked an attack from one of the best hitters in the conference to earn Niagara the point. Once again, congratulations to all the student athletes. Thanks for being with us as part of the 2021 Purple Eagle Award Show. Give yourselves one more round of applause before we wrap up today. One quick announcement for our senior student athletes. You can get your framed letter N in the back of the room as you exit today. Once again, congratulations everybody for the seniors graduating. Congratulations to you. And as Father said, for everybody else, we look forward to seeing you back in competition next year. Have a great weekend, everybody.